Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. A Georgetown woman and mother is dead after being shot by her estranged husband while their child was being held hostage inside the home. It happened early this morning in a neighborhood on Gabriel View Drive. A petition for divorce was filed by the victim less than two weeks ago. CBS Austin's Jessica Taylor joins us live tonight. Jessica, neighbors say they heard what could have been gunshots this morning around four. What's the latest from police tonight? The latest report from Georgetown police reveals that this all started closer to three in the morning. Officers were trying to speak with Ricardo Quinones, but then they heard two gunshots and entered the home. That's when officers found Lindsay Quinones dead. Now, an officer that was outside the house reported firing his service pistol towards her estranged husband as he fled the house. A tragic event shaking this quiet Georgetown neighborhood. I heard some noises around 4.30 or so. Georgetown police say just before 3 a.m. they received a phone call from the 13-year-old daughter of Ricardo and Lindsay Quinones, who said her dad was holding them hostage. Police say Quinones fatally shot Lindsay and fled. The policeman came and asked if I knew the people, you know, if I knew anything about it or heard any disturbances before, and I hadn't. Ricardo Quinones was arrested in Columbus, Texas this afternoon. Multiple neighbors say that the family was renting the Georgetown property off Gabriel View Drive. Neighbors say their interactions with the family were limited, but a few days ago, the victim, Lindsay, was going around the neighborhood looking for their family dog. People are in shock. This tragedy struck. It's a quiet neighborhood, one of the oldest neighborhoods in Georgetown. There's been an outpouring of support for those that knew the family across social media sites. They describe the victim, Lindsay Quinones, as a great friend, sister, and a hard worker. The 13-year-old that called police was able to escape the house through a window. Social media also shows that there may be another child in the family. But Georgetown Assistant Police Chief Roland Waits says he does not have that information. Neighbors and people online still want to know how Quinones was able to flee. We've learned that there's an access road and a river behind these properties, which could be one possibility. Now, this entire event is still being looked into by police and they are not doing interviews, so we're still waiting for answers. Live in Georgetown, Jessica Taylor, CBS Austin News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.